Hello, my name is Ponce, and today I'm going to be building my childhood home. Well, the building that I lived in. It was four apartments and very nice. There I go, starting off with the shape. I filmed this like a month ago, so I'm not exactly sure what happens. Oh, okay, yep, now I know what's happening. Yep. Doing the shape. You see, my house actually had like, um, a, like, the building that I lived in, like, a piece of it was, like, in the ground, and it was, like, this all. And, um, like, my grandparents' apartment was, like, lower than ours, because there was a hill there. So I was kind of, I'm guessing what I was trying to do was I was trying to, like, make it so that way I can, like, do, like, one apartment down. But it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. There I go, situating it. Because it was a pretty big building. Making sure that I had that leveled up. Trying to get, like, the same exact apartment on, like, this side. Over here. Trying to make it, like, a little more than how I remembered. Because we had, like, this courtyard in front of our door. And, um, we lived in the apartment that I'm working on right now. Uh, it was a beautiful apartment. I remember it so fondly. Uh, so many memories. There was also this like really long like one floor apartment on the end. I'm just making the the apartments the way it was. My house had that jutting bit, so that's what I was trying to like. That was like one of the things I was trying to figure out. And also, I was trying to figure out how to do like um the upstairs because like. My closet, the way that they situated it was, it was basically going over the stairs. And it was kind of weird. And then we also had like a linen closet right next to the my parents' door. And then they had like this really long, wide apartment. I mean closet in their room. And you see, that's one of the things I don't like about Sims because it's like... Things don't work out the way that... You want them to, because the stairs were a lot more closer to the back of the, the house. And I don't think that I actually attempted to look for, like, the my railing. Actually, wait, no, I did. It was basically like this, um... It kind of looked like those, like, rot, like, things that they have in, um... On, like, the old people's windows... Especially in like those little like retirement villages. Now I'm doing the unique roofs that they had. It was a very nice apartment building. Very nice building. And there's my house with its beautiful roof. I wonder if I fix that. Also I had like a really weird like coloring. It was like this lime green type thing. Oh. It was like this lime green red thing. It was just... Mm. On one hand, I kind of miss the way it looks because like that's the way that I like... That, those are the apartments that we left. But like... Yeah, I think it looks a lot nicer now. But I do love the fact that, like, it was like we each had our own little house. Because now it's like, they're full-on apartments. And there I go, messing with my grandparents' roof. 
they kind of had like a bit of a barn thing going with the roof so I was trying to like figure out a way I can like do that but I don't think I actually went through with that as you'll see later in the video I'll just completely like just have like a single roof going over but eh that's one thing that I did love about those apartments though the way that like the front of them just jetted out the way it did but yep, yeah, that's basically that's basically the basis of the of the building that we lived in. That's basically the whole shape and stuff like that. But like I said, it was kind of like this weird. And you see, here I go back, and it's like the thing is, is that like there. I don't think that you can actually like mess with the pa color palette nowadays. So it's like. You can't really do much. Not that if I had the tr chance, I would have like messed around with it and tried to get it perfect. But eh, there I go doing the apartment. Uh, enough for not being there for in over like in ten years, like not being in a single unit of that area. That, in 10 years, I think I did pretty well for the way I did it. But, e Each room, each bedroom had an apartment, had a closet, and then there was, like, the, the downstairs closet, as you see I'm adding right there. I actually don't know why I added two things. Oh, right. Okay, so right now I'm just, um, right now I'm just breaking the wall so I can just pick it up and move it to the other side. And right now I believe I'm going to be replacing the walls. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's that apartment. Now let's go fix a boiler's house. D. Okay, then. Now, I'm setting up the, um, yep, this is the single bedroom apartment on the end. <laughs> and that was a fun time. And right now I'm trying, oh yeah, now I'm gonna add the sheds. Each apartment had its own shed. Indeed. It was funny one time my me and my friends we actually accidentally um closed the door to the sheds to our shed ban and like my mom like she had her finger on it so that was a that was a fun time and there we go just copying all the roofs indeed. Now I'm just trying to raise it up a bit because um most of the units were were like raised up a little. But then I also remember that they also had like their own little patio. Actually the ones in the like my grandmother's house and my grandparents' house and and like the apartment next door like didn't actually have like um like a balcony per se. They basically just had like these little stairs in the back. But I decided to just do that, and here I go, just filling in the walls. Just filling in the walls. Yep, almost done. And... Ooh, alright. Oh, now I'm just moving all the steers. That's gonna bug me in later on. Actually, it's already bugging me. I just want to remind you that I haven't been in this building for like ten years, so I actually have no idea how they like did the um the stairs to the back one. I think what had happened is I made the bedrooms upstairs a little too big, 
because I think that the stairs were actually all in the same place. But to kind of like keep the stairs in the same place, I am um, just move them all to the same place. Yeah. And right now I'm adding a um a gray carpet because that's that's the only floor that they had. Yeah. And to this day, like even Minecraft, like any like apartment building that I do, my go-to for like those like floors is basically just the thing. It's basically just um great concrete for like bedrooms, living rooms, anything. And there I go, just filling in the floors of the um the little sheds. And there. Now here I go just raising the entire building. Cause like I said, oh, there, that worked. But um, like I said, like I hate how sensitive like The Sims is when it comes to like that. Because it's like, why? What's the point in that? Also, I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that like it was like one step, so I ended up. Raising it again. Mm, come on. But yep, there I go. Just adding the the things. At least two steps, that's, yeah. And each apartment had, like, those, like, metal screen doors that they have in the front. So I was trying to find, that's why I chose that one, that door. And, um, yeah. My favorite thing about my apartment is what I'm going to do now. Because it had, um, these three front windows. That like let so much light in and I loved like the summers during that time. Because it would just let all this light in. It was awesome. Then you had the little kitchen windows next to the above the cabinet. Sorry, my little sisters in the beaks. But ye. Now here I go and the window to the back. The thing about like like the Sims is that it didn't have like those like dinky little like windows that like they had in my thing, so I was kind a lot of this they actually didn't have. But one thing that I do remember is that those like low the um that bedroom over there it had like a dinky little window way at the top and i would always look at it and i was like why why didn't they just put like a normal size window like it always bothered me and that's kind of one of the reasons why i'm glad that we didn't have like one of those um those apartments because <laughs> like i always lo loved looking out the windows I loved it so much that every night, like, during, like, the first few summers that we were living there, because, like, I was extremely young, I would actually scream, like, goodnight village, because in my eyes it was a village, like, you know, you grow up hearing all these fairy tales and be like, oh, are these little villages with all these kings and queens and dukes and noble peoples, like, they have all this stuff, and then it's like, I looked down and I just seen, like, a sea of these houses, going up a hill and um in my eyes it was a village so ye yeah that's kind of why I kind of miss it but it does look not a lot nicer 
and I'm pretty sure it's being well capped too. I'd love to be the architect who ha who got the had the pleasure of working with that. There I go just moving the um the the things. And that's that. I added some pathways and stuff like that, connecting it all to the main roads, and then I also added some pathways in the back. And yeah. It was in the woods. It was in like this forest area. Like we didn't actually have a backyard, like it was literally like like our back steps and then that was it like the it was just woods forest whatever really nice though really peaceful i remember me and my friends would always like um like go to like this one area and there would just be like these berry bushes there and here's the apartment and in a minute i'm gonna show you guys what I did with the um the layout so there's the the thing um I don't know what that was about but yeah basically yep we lived in not that unit that was my grandparents apartment but we lived in like that that middle unit right there where it doesn't have like that like add-on and um ye right there where that where the pointers at <sighs> memories it was a fun project like i i brought back a lot of fond memories That's basically my childhood home. We lived there for four years and then we left. It was pretty fun. And gee. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.